Hi there, I'm Jamie Hope, and I want to talk about IBS today. Not everybody's favorite topic, but uh, for those who suffer from it, it's a really significant issue. And I get asked the question a lot because we deal with MTHFR, but a lot of folks that have MTHFR also kind of end up in this uh, bucket of IBS uh, labeled symptoms. And the challenge with IBS is it is so broad categorized by the medical professionals and they kind of throw everybody that's not a specific, well, if you're not Crohn's, you must be IBS, or if you're not IBD, you must be IBS, right? Irritable bowel syndrome. So um, there's two different types uh, characterized by C for constipation, D for diarrhea. Um, I'm not going to claim to be one who has all the answers for all of the IBS uh, pieces out there. What I will say is that I dealt with and suffered from IBS-C constipation for many, many, many years, over 12 extreme, extreme, extreme uh, challenges with IBS. Didn't feel like I could leave my home because I was in so much discomfort all the time. Sometimes I would be at work and I would be in the middle of a meeting and I'd have to lay on the floor because my belly hurt so much that I couldn't find any way to uh, relieve the discomfort uh, other than laying in a certain weird position. And so, um, so I really know uh, the pain and challenge and of not being able to go places, right? And having to be able to, you know, think about whether or not you can just do what you want to do because you have so much challenge and pain with IBS. So I know the pain of IBS. I discovered I have had MTHFR, I still do, uh, but I was able to find some nutrients that specifically uh, methylfolate made changes for me in the serotonin um, numbers. And the reason I know is because I had serotonin levels tested before I began taking methylfolate and my levels were 85 and the test said normal range was 125 to 185 right? And I was 85. So I was significantly low. And um, after taking methylfolate, and I only took five to six milligrams a day, and I did that for about three months before I retested uh, serotonin's uh, levels, and those levels bumped up to 136. So it moved me from significantly outside the range of normal to inside the normal range. And I noticed that by continuing to take that amount of methylfolate, for me, over a period of nine months of time, my IBS just slowly went away. And I remember one day turning around, someone invited me to go somewhere and I was like, oh sure. And I thought, whoa, when do I ever just, oh sure, without like being totally paranoid and distressed about whether or not that's something I think I can manage based on how my health and stomach are doing. And I was just feeling in such a good place that uh, so much repair had happened in my gut. And for me, that repair was serotonin based. And because we know that, you know, over 80% of the serotonin in our body exists in our gut, when that is extremely low, our motility and the function of our gut does not work in a balanced way and does not work normally. And so uh, my particular experience with IBS is that when I got my serotonin levels uh, ironed out and more normalized, that IBS really evaporated and went away for me. I'm not saying that will happen for everyone, but if you have IBS, you also have MTHFR, uh, and you want to try something different and you know your serotonin levels are low because maybe your mood is low too, this might be something that's uh, worth trying for you. Uh, a depression level dose of methylfolate is somewhere between 7.5 milligrams and 15 milligrams. And we have those uh, products available for me. I took a slightly lower dose than that. It still raised my serotonin levels. Uh, but it's a great way to basically boost SAM-E in the system by taking the methylfolate. SAM-E uh, gets increased and the SAM-E helps create those neurotransmitters for you. If you want to take SAM-E directly, you can do that as well. Uh, though I'm told by some various doctors that SAM-E is not quite as tolerable for some people, um, and yet for others, maybe methylfolate's less tolerable and SAM-E is more tolerable, but both of those are um, options to help increase serotonin. So things to think about. Take care.